it's an absolute honor to welcome you all to today's special session on Dehradun's legacy leaders in global education. As we all know, Dehradun has long been synonymous with quality school education, but today it is also emerging as a global hub for higher education. The city has nurtured generations of outstanding educators and leaders who have gone on to shape institutions, not just in India, but across the world. We are privileged to have among us today some of the finest school leaders, all of whom, whom hail from Dehradun, but now lead prestigious institutions worldwide. Their influence and vision extend far beyond geographical boundaries, and they embody the spirit of excellence that Dehradun represents. Today's program is a unique opportunity for us to hear their stories, insights, and their views on how education can continue to evolve globally. I'm confident that their experiences will inspire educators, students, and leaders alike. On behalf of EduTV, I would like to thank all of you for joining us and for your continuous support. We look forward to a productive and inspiring session. Let's get started. I will request Mr. Sandeep Dutt, the famous Mr. Dutt of English Book Depot and founder of Learning Forward to start the conversation. Over to you, Sandeep. Thank you for having me over. I think it's a befitting Sunday evening in Dehradun. Monsoon has just receded. We have some beautiful greenery all over the city, which is a small reminiscence of the past. So what I really remember of Dehradun and what I hope to sleep with finally is the weather, the salubrious weather. I think that's one reason why Dehradun attracted so much of schools and even people from across the world for institution building. And if I look, look back at the history of Dehradun, we came here in 1948. And uh, this year, in fact, we celebrated 101 years of the English Book Depot, which is my family's legacy. And I'm happy to have been here at a time when we crossed 100 years. So the story of Dehradun, the story of schooling, the story of the valley post-independence is quite intertwined with our, I would say, legacy, if I may say, for not being so arrogant or pompous. And what I find very interesting is that in the last, particularly 25 years, every form of legacy is kind of threatened in this part of the valley. And that sometimes disquietens me. Yes, it does give me a challenge to, to do whatever I can. And that's why we exist. And that's why we created now the Learning Forward Foundation. Now, what, what brings us all together is only one thing reading. So whether it is, whether you call it schooling or whether you call it schools or whether you call it growing up together, the common thread is reading. And reading is perhaps the only gift mankind has or humankind has. And I'm in a gender sensitive world. So I dare not say mankind. I'd say humankind. I stand corrected. So in humankind, humans are the only ones who can read. They have a script. And that I think is a gift we have in our learning system today. But what is very important today is that as humans, as educators, as people who have seen the story of Dehradun, a place of books, a place of bookshops, a place full of libraries and institutions, I think times are challenging. So if I look back 100 years in 2020, 1923, when we started, the biggest challenge was how do you nurture the gift of reading? And today, 101 years down the line, the challenge remains the same. How do you nurture the gift of reading? So the floors to everyone, the history of Dehradun is there. What Dehradun has done for nurturing institutions is made all of us. It's given us a fertile ground for imagination. Yes, it's a fertile ground from all sides, mentally, physically, naturally, beautiful, beautifully. I hope we can preserve it. That's my only thought. Wow. That was really, I, think we, I also learned a lot of new things. And uh, Sandeep sir is himself a, a university or an institution and I've, he had been helping me, uh, helping EduTV a lot 